Week one in preseason is finally in the books. Football is back. I'm so excited. The Kansas City Chiefs had their week one opener against the New Orleans Saints. They lost the game, game one and field goal on a very, very interesting finish to say the least. But my biggest takeaways were, first of all, let me start with the defense, the first team defense. They were bad. They were bad. Back-to-back -back drives gave up points. No pressure on Derek Carr. Justin Reed was getting beat consistently. Trent McDuffie got caught up and gave up a touchdown to Jameis Winston. So that wasn't a bright sign. But at the same time, obviously no Chris Jones there. No Legereus Sneed. You could argue those are the two most important players on the Chiefs defense. So I'm not going to overreact there. But you still want to see some guys make some plays despite being down a couple of your main guys. Offensively, super vanilla. No surprise. The first four plays were to Clyde edwards Elair. So that kind of tells you a lot that the Chiefs and Andy Reid were not going to give away anything in this game. No targets for Sky Moore. Uh, Mahomes didn't throw a pass uh, beyond 10 yards past the line of scrimmage. So just a very, very vanilla game plan. And they didn't even game plan. They, they, didn't, they didn't game plan for this game at all. They just kind of went out there and played. Uh, so, you know, you can't really take too much from that. But what you can take from is Justin Ross. He had two catches. He broke a tackle on his first one, got some yak, and he got in the end zone. This is important because this was his first real football game in a couple years now. Obviously, he had the back spinal injury. Then last year, he had the foot injury before the season started. A guy that would have been a first-round talent, first-round pick, he is a first-round talent. He would have been a first-round pick if not for the injury concern. He went undrafted. So if he becomes a thing, and if he's truly back to being the old Justin Ross that we saw at Clemson dominate Alabama with Trevor Lawrence, the Chiefs got one of the biggest steals in recent NFL history. I mean, the guy is 6'4", he's big, he's strong, he can get up and catch jump balls. And that is something the Chiefs haven't had. While they've had great weapons, they haven't had that jump ball threat at receiver. Tyreek Hill was a speed guy, Cole Hardman. You know, you never had that guy that can go up and get the 50-50 ball. So this could be another new dynamic to the Chiefs offense if he makes the 53-man roster, which at this point, I don't see how you keep him off the 53-man roster. It would be, uh, Chiefs King would be very, very upset to say the least. Uh, so he definitely popped Rasheed Rice, the Chiefs rookie receiver that they took in the second round this year, made a few catches. He had this one in traffic that was really impressive. And that was after a drop, a routine pass that he should have caught. So it's good to see him bounce back and not let that linger. So that's definitely a good sign there. Uh, defensively, a couple guys flashed. The rookie Felix FAU from K-State had quite a few pressures. He was getting getting uh, to the quarterback off the edge, showed some uh, pop. So that was nice to see. Danny Shelton, the big fella, had a sack. He's, <laughs> he's very nimble for a guy of his size. So that was really cool to see there as well. And Tremari Connor, the Chiefs rookie safety that they took in the fourth round. He looked really good as well. He was there on a few blitzes causing havoc. So there was definitely some good things as far as the depth went. The backups played a lot better than the starters in this game. But, you know, that's kind of what you want to see in the preseason when you have guys get extended amount of time. You're evaluating talent. So you want to see how those guys do. But I, what I will say, though, for the starters, that really was impressive. And even the backups as well at this unit was the offensive line. That was good throughout the entire game. Shout out to Donovan Smith, the Chiefs' new left tackle. He flashed, looked really good, really nimble, athletic. He looks healthy again, had a couple pancakes. He's replacing Orlando Brown Jr., and I do think that is an upgrade because he's more athletic. He's a veteran. He's, he's protected Tom Brady, who's not a mobile quarterback. So he, he's good at doing that, and like I said, he is athletic. He can get out there on on some sweeps and cause some havoc out there. And then Juwan Taylor was good as well. We already know about the interiors, arguably the best interior offensive line in the league. So I'm not worried about those guys in the middle. The question was the tackles. And we'll see as it progresses. Obviously, it was just a good drive or two. 
in the preseason. So I'm not going to come to any final conclusions there, but it definitely was a great sign to see that not be an issue early on. So I'll be back next week with my week two preseason report. The Chiefs are going back to Glendale, Arizona, where they won the Super Bowl this past season. They're going back there to play the Cardinals this weekend. Until then, see you guys next week.